fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Friday to you. And, uh, you know, we showed this graphic earlier in the week, but it's nice to bring it back to kind of remind you because it's still humid out there. So on days when we have low dew point values now, you sweat because they because you know that's your human because that's the human body's natural way to cool you off now on days where the where the dew point is relatively low all that sweat can evaporate because the air has enough room for those water molecules but take a day like today and the past several days where we've had high dew point values the air is so saturated that all that sweat can't go anywhere so it just clings to you and around you so that is why you feel sticky and humid and high on days when the dew point is relatively high and the dew point is still in the mid 60s for today but we are going to see some relief by next week we have a double header for the tarp skunks tonight they take on the uh, niagara power the first game is at five o'clock this evening and then the second game will start right after the first game so uh five o'clock 83 degrees partly to mostly sunny there could be an isolated shower but by this time the rain should be all gone partly cloudy by seven o'clock mainly clear by 10 and there will be fireworks after the game as well this is the christmas in july game as well so stick around after the second game to see some cool fireworks at the end of the game but uh, we do need some rainfall around here and it does look like our best chance for meaningful rainfall is going to be Sunday out of a presence of the next uh, frontal system this is mainly going to be Sunday Sunday night and then early Monday looks like our better chance for this and uh, the storm prediction center has placed all of the region under a low end marginal risk a level one out of five for at least a couple gusty thunderstorms through the day on Sunday the severe weather threat not looking very impressive but this this is really going to be the main thing from these storms. It's going to be heavy rainfall. We could be looking at about a quarter of an inch to maybe upwards of a half an inch across the eastern southern tier, half an inch to about one inch across portions of the central uh, southern tier. And then once you work across the western southern tier back into uh, Erie County, Pennsylvania, one to one and a half inches. Now this is over the next five days. Understand this is the quantitative precipitation forecast, but the majority of this rainfall would be Sunday, Sunday night, and then early Monday. So we need some good rainfall around here. And if those rainfall totals verify, that would give us some well needed rainfall to put a dent in our rainfall deficit. So we do have a couple scattered showers and thunderstorms to go through through the afternoon hours. Not everywhere. Not everybody's going to see a shower or storm today. Most everybody mainly dry. We clear out for the overnight hours, partly to mainly clear. Tomorrow starts dry. Should be an overall nice day, but there could be a couple scattered to isolated showers or thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon hours on Saturday. So just keep that in mind. A lot of events happen happening uh, over the weekend as well. And then out ahead of this frontal system, there's our widespread showers and thunderstorms coming in by Sunday morning. So here's the forecast for you for this Friday, partly to mostly sunny, a few showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon, a bit breezy, 80 to 87 with a west wind, 5 to 15 with wind gusts possibly 25 to 30, partly to mainly clear tonight, still muggy, 58 to 68 with a west wind, 5 to 10. One of the events happening tomorrow is the St. James Italian Festival starts at three o'clock till midnight 85 degrees so warm and muggy to start there will be a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms but it won't be raining all the time so keep that in mind but do have the rain gear handy temperatures actually go down to about the lower 70s by the time we go into the 11 o'clock hour now the ultimate satellite solutions seven day forecast if it will come up, here it comes, uh, shows you 85 tomorrow, a couple scattered isolated showers and thunderstorms, downpours likely Sunday, Sunday night going into Monday, mainly morning showers and thunderstorms on Monday, 79. Then it turns much less humid by the time we go into Tuesday, 78, 81 with a few scattered showers on Wednesday. And again, we could catch a few more showers, maybe a few rumbles on Thursday with highs in the mid 70s.